we already know what happened to the dark sky. While you do have alternative from Apple, that one requires you to have a paying Apple developer account. Plus, we all heard, or if you haven't heard, hear it now. Open weather map, we'll soon disable the old API, introduce the new API, but yes, you will need to provide credit card information to get access to it. It says it will be free and the credit card information will only be used for the account verification purposes. And we all know what happens next. So today we'll be looking at eight Home Assistant internal integrations that can get all the weather information for you inside your Home Assistant, plus also 10 regional Home Assistant integrations if you're living in a specific region where you can pull additional or some specific regional or national weather information. We'll start in a couple of seconds. The reason for this video is, unfortunately, the announcement of the open weather map that they are changing the API. They are now providing a free service, but you have to register your credit card. And in my opinion, wherever you need to register a credit card, I know that this is used for identification purposes, but it doesn't feel free. And that's why I went on to search integrations for weather that you can hook up in your home assistant. There were three things that I think are necessary. First of all, it needs to be free. By free, I mean that you do not have to pay anything and the maximum this integration may require you is to create a free account. Second of all, no hardware. Yes, there are options for you to create your own weather station, hook it up to Home Assistant, but I wanted something for everybody so that even those that do not have a weather station, financial capability or place to put it outside, can also use it in Home Assistant. And three, this needed to be internal Home Assistant integration. Yes, there are great hacks components or custom components that you can hook up in Home Assistant, but these were three criteria for my search for the new integrations for the weather service in Home Assistant. That's why I've created a list of eight integrations that you will be able to hook up or set up in your Home Assistant. Some actually don't require anything, you just need to start the integration and everything is done, while others may require you to create a free account, but for each integration I will show it somewhere on the screen. Plus, there are some integrations that are regional specific or country specific. I will also cover them, but I will just go briefly to each and every one of them without installing or trying them inside Home Assistant. So let's get cracking with the first integration. The integrations are sorted in alphabetical order, so first one for us is AccuWeather. AccuWeather requires you to create a free account. You need to register or log in if you have previously created an account, and after you fill in all the detail, create new account. I already have AccuWeather account, and this is one of the integrations I am using in my main setup, but the process of getting the API is very easy. Click on Add New App and fill in all the details as shown on screen. We have application name, we will be using Core Weather Unlimited Trial, we will not be using Minutecast, API will be used for other purposes, internal application, languages Python, business to business, worldwide, and create app. Since I already have account here, this is how it looks. You will be presented with the API key. And then in Home Assistant, click on Add Integration, type in AQ for AQ Weather, select it, paste your API key, plus your latitude, longitude and give it a name. When you submit it, you will see one service and a lot of entities. And this is all of the information that you can get inside your Home Assistant. Remember that you can get a hourly forecast and also daily forecast. Next integration we will be looking at today is Ambient Weather Network. There are actually two Ambient Weather integrations, but we will be using this one. This is, let's call it like that, public integration and it allows everybody to pull in the information that has been shared by the users or owners of those weather stations. Plus there is additional integration that allows owners of the weather station to pull more information inside their home assistant. In order for us to get this working, click on add integration and type in the name ambient weather network. We select area where we want to pull the data and we click submit. But this is also the issue with this integration. 
while this integration is a worldwide integration, you can actually use it anywhere in the world. It requires to have some of the ambient weather compatible weather stations in your location. That means that the radius you supply here may need to be a bit larger than normally you would select. For example, let's go here for 10,000. Submit. And 10 kilometers from where I live, I have option to select one of these two weather stations. Unfortunately, this weather station is not providing any accurate data, so I will have to repeat the process and select other weather station. But unfortunately, even this one is not reporting data that can be used in my home assistant. So I would advise you that before you try to use this integration, you go to their website and check if there are any locations near you that are providing current data and it's not some old and static data left in the system. The next integration should have been Math Office. While the integration is still available in Home Assistant, and yes, you can get a free key after registration, unfortunately, this integration since the version 2024.4 has some issues. Those issues need to be resolved in the upstream repositories or dependencies for Home Assistant. When those things are resolved, you will be able once again to use Met Office inside Home Assistant. Until this issue here that is still open is resolved, unfortunately, you will probably have issues with this integration Home Assistant. But I'm leaving it here because I know a lot of people have been using this integration, I think around 2000 people, and hopefully this will be fixed in a future releases, not of Home Assistant, but this upstream dependency. Meta of France is another option you can use in Home Assistant and it does provide worldwide data, but some sensors are only available for France or in case of weather alert sensor for France and Andorra. Not Ender like uh, Disney Star Wars Ender, but Andor. In Home Assistant, click on Add Integration, Meteo, click on Meteo France, select City. It can be postcode for France, which is recommended, but also city name. For example, for me, Zagreb, click on Submit. And we have a couple of options, Zagreb as a city Zagreb, Center, Stenjevac, which is the west part of Zagreb, and Dubrava, which is the right part where you don't want to go by night. Let me click on center or center, click submit and finish. We now have one service with 10 entities. Information about cloud cover, daily rainfall or snowfall, humidity and UV index. Plus we have a couple of disabled entities that you can try and enable. Daily condition, original condition, pressure, temperature, wind gust and also wind speed. If you are living in France, you will probably get a bit more information, but also you will get additional sensors that are not available outside of France. My go-to service that I install on all of my platforms or all of my systems is met.no or Meteorologisk Institute. This is a Norwegian meteorological institute or weather institute that is easiest or maybe one of the easiest to set up. Go to integration, type met for met.no, specify the name because for this weather integration, you can have multiple locations, latitude, longitude, and your elevation. Click submit, and that's it. You will have all the weather information inside one sensor, weather sensor. We can see all the typical information, plus daily forecast, and also hourly forecast. As I said, this is one of the integrations that I install on all of my systems, especially at some of the systems where I have multiple locations in one home assistant. Next integration is called Open Meadow, and same as with previous integration, you do not need any account, you do not need any API key, you just install it directly from within Home Assistant. Click on Add Integration, type in Open, select Open Meadow, select a zone from the drop down list, and the zone, longitude, and latitude are used as coordinates for this weather service. Usually, this is the home zone, and click Submit. Select an area, finish. We now have one service with one entity, where we have information about current weather, temperature, wind speed and direction, plus daily and hourly forecasts. Next integration, which is relatively new to Home Assistant, was added 2022.4 or in April of 2022, is called tomorrow.io. It does require you to create account to get access to the free API, but you do get free 100 API calls per day. Let's sign up for free. Fill in the necessary data, and that is the email and the password. 
Agree to terms of service and privacy policy. Click on sign up. Type in your first name and last name. I will select personal projects and click submit. And here you can copy the key. Copy it. In Home Assistant, click on add integration. Type in tomorrow. Paste your API key and you can select your exact location. Click submit. Select an area and finish. We now have one service with 28 entities. Here we have weather information, current state, temperature, air pressure, humidity, wind speed and direction, visibility, daily forecast, hourly forecast. But besides that, we also have 27 sensors that are currently not enabled. Free tier information, as I said, allows you to have 100 API daily requests. Unfortunately, the free tier only provides the core layer and it doesn't include information such as air quality, etc. A paid version of Tomorrow IO account does allow you to get that information. But today we are talking only on the free versions of the weather integrations. And last free integration for the weather, worldwide weather, is this template weather provider. I did actually create a separate video covering just this integration because I think that it is really awesome. It is not weather information or weather integration per se, but it allows you to combine multiple sources and create your own weather information. For example, you want to pull the conditions from met.no. Then you want to pull the temperature information for the outside from your own, for example, Zigbee sensors. Then you have a Bluetooth sensor that provides you with the humidity. And for example, you use AccuWeather to pull the forecast information. Out of all of those sensors, you can create your own weather integration free of charge inside Home Assistant. For more information, if I remember, I will be posting a link up here to the video on this integration. But besides those weather integrations that you can use wherever you live, more or less, there are also some national or regional specific weather services. So let's quickly go through them. Once again, in alphabetical order, a, E, M, E, at, or Agencia Estatal de Meteorología. This one is service available for everybody living in Spain. You do need free key and you can get it on the website by registering on the link here. For configuration, more or less, it's the same as with any other. You need to provide the API key, give it a name, and then also provide your latitude and longitude for the location where you want to get the weather information for. Then we have Buyen Radar, or Sorry for butchering the name, this one is for the Netherlands. If you are living in Netherlands, but actually also if you are living in Belgium, because the Netherlands is default country, it can be changed to the Belgium, you can use this one here. To see if there is data available for your region, you can click on the map and see if there are any weather stations or information for the weather in area where you live. If you want to use it, you need to click on Add Integration inside Home Assistant, and if everything is correct, you will be presented with both camera and the sensor. Camera will provide you with the radar image of the rain, and the sensor will provide you with more detailed weather data. For those of you living in Hong Kong, there is integration called Hong Kong Observatory that is covering, you guessed it correctly, Hong Kong. It should display weather information for your selected region or location and also give you 5-day forecast for the weather inside Hong Kong. No API key is needed and the integration is, of course, free of charge. Then we have Instituto Portugues do Mar e Atmosfera, IPMI, that allows you to pull information from this service into your home assistant. This service, of course, works in Portugal. You do get weather information, current state and also forecast, but you also have two sensors. One is the Pi Risk and the other one is UV Index. Then we have Met Arian or Irish Meteorological Service, where you can get information for Ireland, but also, if I'm not mistaken, for the UK and just part of the northern France. You will get current, of course, data and also forecast data. Then we have Meteo Climatic, which is a weather service covering Spain, but I also think that it's covering part of Portugal or whole of the Portugal. And if I'm not mistaken, I've seen an icon or two over France. But the main service is for the Spain, plus Portugal. Or to make it easier, it covers this region here. For all of you that are using Freedom Units or what it's called in the rest of the world, King Richard III's measuring units, 
there is a National Weather Service. Since I'm using metric system and living in Europe, I haven't tried this service, but it should be easy. You should only need to press Add Integration inside Home Assistant, type in NWS, and that's it. I am not sure if this integration requires API or not. I do not think so, but here it is mentioned, and I do not know if it's needed where you can get the API key. SMHI can be used if you are living in Sweden or around Sweden. I know it's a kind of hard to tell you how or why, but if you look at this link here, you can see that there are coordinates of the box around Sweden, and if by some luck you live outside of Sweden but inside of that box, your area is also covered. No API key is needed, and this is a free service, once again pulling weather information in Home Assistant. This one is actually not the weather information, but I really wanted to include it here, because it is pulling or creating data based on weather information, and it's called Tops Off LAD, or Tops Off, for all of you that are not speaking British English. This integration will pull information from the weather service and create a funny binary sensor telling you if you should take your shirt off or not, because Tops Off tells you if it's hot or not outside, so that you can pull your tops off. Because this information is telling you if it's tops off or not, saying that you should or shouldn't pull your tops off in the British standards of heat, meaning everything above zero is probably already hot. And the last one is Trafik Verkat weather station, this is once again the Swedish specific weather service that will pull weather information for your local area. This is a bit different weather service because it is pulling information from the Swedish transport administration, from their weather stations. If there are any weather stations in your area, you can pull that information and use it inside your home assistant. For this one, you need API key, but you can register for free and get the API key. Then in Home Assistant, click on Edit Integration, paste in the API key probably that you receive from the web page, maybe your location information, and that should be it. But what is so specific about this integration? And in my opinion, it's really awesome, and I really hope that some other regions or countries have this information. Besides the typical weather information, air temperature, road temperature, dew point, blah, 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 we have also some additional information, such as visible distance, road ice depth, snow depth, water depth, etc. So this is more of weather information for everybody that is using their car or public transport, but it also provides you with the standard weather information. Purpose of this video, as I mentioned at the beginning, was to find alternative to the open weather map, because we really do prefer local only, and we hate when integrations require us credit cards, no matter if they will be using that just for account verification, or to pull money out of your account. And you do see that you have a lot of options from within Home Assistant. There are also a ton of other HACS components or external components that can be also used to pull information inside Home Assistant. But that's topic for the next time. I really do hope that you did enjoy this video. And if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button down below to say to YouTube that you did like this video and that more people should see it. And while you are already there, don't forget to click on the subscribe button, because you really do not want to miss the next videos and also streams. If you have any kind of a comment, question, suggestion, and if I by any chance missed any internal Home Assistant integration, don't forget to leave me a comment down in the comment section below. And last but not least, before I end up the video, I want to say thanks to all those wonderful people that are supporting me and that have become YouTube channel members. Thank you all for all of your support, but let's not forget each and every one of you who has watched, liked, commented and shared my videos. Thank you! If you too want to support the channel, you can do so by clicking the join button down below and becoming a YouTube channel member for only 2 euros or 2 dollars per month, or you can go to my merchandise store and get something there. Last but not least, you can always send me super thanks and I will be super thankful for that. I'll be seeing you next time. Until then, bye-bye and have fun.